Hey guys, this is Ray with Benchmark, and today we're going to discuss the difference between amateur GPS and professional GPS. Not every use case requires professional grade GPS. Sometimes amateur is the better option, but it's really important to know what you're doing, know what kind of precision and repeatability you need so you can make an informed decision on which gear you should choose. So in front of me, I have an amateur GPS and a professional GPS. And we're actually gonna go through the internal components and the differences between them. So in this video, we're gonna go over five things. We're gonna go over channel count. We're gonna go over constellations, engines, radios, and software choices. So let's start from the furthest away and come down to the nearest. So first, channels. Channels is like in this video right here, is the ability for a GPS to receive a signal from a satellite. Lower grade GPS, such as South, MLID, XYZ, the things you'd find on Amazon, are gonna have generally less than 500 channels. That's not great for you. So that's generally a bad idea if you're working in adverse conditions in any stretch of the imagination. So that's partly covered trees, up against one story buildings. Basically any condition that's not ideal, having that lower channel count is really gonna hinder you. So if you're in that kind of condition, you should go for a professional. So second, I wanna talk about constellations or another word for it is satellites. A constellation is just a group of satellites in one particular area or from one particular country. So moving from the furthest away from us to the closest, first of all, you get your satellite signals. They come down, pew, 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 pew. Then they come into the antenna, which is this circle-y thing on our professional grade GPS. And then they're gonna go into a channel box after that, they're gonna go into our GPS engine, which is right here. A GPS engine is essentially the brain of the GPS. It allows you to say, this is a good signal, this is a bad signal, and then from that, create an estimation of where you are. Now, the better the engine, the more accurate you're going to be in real life. As you might expect, professional grade GPS is gonna have a lot higher quality of an engine. So it's gonna be a lot better at throwing out bad data because bad data happens regardless of good GPS or professional GPS and amateur GPS, but the ability to throw it away is something that requires a lot of engineering. So professional grade GPS is gonna have that. Amateur GPS, not so much. So fourth, I wanna talk about radios. So once we have our GPS signal from our engine, we need to send that from our base to our rover, and that's sent via radio. Now, the issue is a lot of low-grade GPS won't actually have a radio within it. It will have to be connected to an N-TRIP network. If you wanna know what an N-TRIP network is, there's a video right here, but essentially that means that you're gonna be limited to urban areas. If you're ever gonna be out in a rural area, you just won't be able to do the work you wanna do with the kind of quality that you wanna do it. So, if you need a radio, you should probably get professional grade GPS. Finally, I wanna talk about software. So, amateur GPS will usually come with free software, which is really great if you're looking at doing the most cost-effective route. However, it's gonna be severely limited if you're doing excavation, surveying, engineering work, anything that requires robust functions or calculatory power. If you need software that is specific for your industry or just more capable in general, software is generally only gonna work with professional grade GPS because you need to have something called a driver which allows the software to operate the GPS. So that has to be a partnership between a high-end software company and a high-end GPS. So if you have a high-end software company and a low-grade GPS, they're probably not gonna work together. So, in conclusion, is amateur GPS useful? Yes, of course. There's a host of applications where it's the better suit. But if any of those five categories that we just went over in this video, if any of those categories are important to you, you should really get professional grade GPS. If you wanna talk about your specific application and get more information, whether you need amateur or professional grade GPS, give me a call. I'm Ray at Benchmark. And if you wanna learn more about some professional grade GPS, there's a video right here.